Our planet, Earth, a world teeming with life in countless forms, from the smallest insects to the largest whales, life has conquered every corner of our planet. But have you ever wondered how it all began? How did life itself arise from the primordial soup billions of years ago? Imagine a time when Earth was a young planet still cooling from its formation. Volcanoes erupted, spewing lava and gases into the atmosphere. The oceans were a cauldron of chemicals, a primordial soup where the building blocks of life were beginning to assemble. It was in this chaotic and volatile environment that life emerged. Simple organic molecules, the precursors to life, formed spontaneously from inorganic matter. These molecules, through a process we are still unravelling, began to self-replicate, creating the first rudimentary forms of life. Life's first foray was humble. Single-celled organisms, primitive bacteria and archaea were the sole inhabitants of our planet for billions of years. These microscopic pioneers were incredibly successful, adapting to extreme environments and shaping the Earth's early atmosphere. These early cells were simple, lacking the complex internal structures of their modern counterparts. Yet within their simplicity lay the seeds of future complexity. Over eons, these single-celled organisms evolved, developing new ways to obtain energy and reproduce. One of the most significant events in this early evolution was the development of photosynthesis. This process harnessing the power of sunlight to create energy transformed life on Earth. It released oxygen into the atmosphere, paving the way for the evolution of more complex life forms. For billions of years, single-celled organisms ruled the Earth. However, the blueprint of life was about to undergo another dramatic transformation. This change, a pivotal turning point in the history of life, was the emergence of multicellular organisms. This transition from single cells to multicellular life was a monumental leap. It involved individual cells cooperating, specialising and working together as a cohesive unit. This cooperation allowed for greater complexity and the development of specialized tissues and organs. The first multicellular organisms were simple, likely resembling algae or sponges. However, this new form of life held immense potential. It opened the door for an explosion of diversity and complexity, leading to the incredible variety of plants, animals and fungi we see today. The Cambrian Explosion, a period of rapid diversification of life, marks a pivotal chapter in our planet's history. This era, beginning around 540 million years ago, witnessed an unprecedented burst of evolutionary innovation, a biological Big Bang. During this time, the seas teemed with a bewildering array of new life forms. Creatures with hard shells, exoskeletons and complex body plans emerged. Predators evolved, along with new prey seeking to evade their grasp. The Cambrian explosion wasn't just about the sudden appearance of new species, it marked a turning point in the complexity of life. It was the dawn of ecosystems as we know them, with intricate food webs and complex interactions between organisms. Section 5. Conquering the land from fins to limbs. Life, having flourished in the oceans for billions of years, was poised for another momentous leap, the conquest of land. This transition from water to land was a formidable challenge, demanding significant adaptations for survival. Among the pioneers of this terrestrial invasion were the tetrapods, our distant ancestors. These creatures, evolving from lobe-finned fish, possessed the skeletal framework that would eventually give rise to limbs. This transition from fins to limbs was a gradual process with numerous intermediate forms bridging the gap between water and land. Each step in this evolutionary journey brought about new adaptations, from lungs for breathing air to stronger limbs for support against gravity. Section 6, the age of reptiles. Dinosaurs rule the earth. Following the conquest of land, life continued to diversify and evolve. Among the most successful groups were the reptiles. These creatures, with their scaly skin and amniotic eggs, were well suited to life on dry land. The reign of the dinosaurs, spanning millions of years, is a testament to their evolutionary success. These magnificent creatures, from the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex to the colossal Brachiosaurus, dominated the planet. The age of reptiles wasn't just about dinosaurs. It was a time of great evolutionary experimentation, with the emergence of flying reptiles, 
marine reptiles, and a plethora of other fascinating creatures. Section 7, a new era begins the rise of mammals. As the reign of the dinosaurs came to an end, a new era dawned, paving the way for the rise of mammals. These warm-blooded creatures with their fur or hair and mammary glands for nourishing their young were poised to inherit the earth. Mammals, though small and often nocturnal during the age of reptiles, possessed several key adaptations that allowed them to thrive in the wake of the dinosaurs' demise. Their warm-bloodedness provided greater resilience to temperature fluctuations, while their more efficient respiratory and circulatory systems offered increased stamina. The extinction of the dinosaurs opened up ecological niches that mammals were quick to fill. This led to a rapid diversification of mammals, giving rise to the incredible variety we see today, from tiny bats to massive whales. Section 8, the primate lineage, our distant cousins. Within the vast and diverse class of mammals, a particular group began to emerge, the primates. These tree-dwelling creatures, characterized by their grasping hands and feet, forward-facing eyes and relatively large brains, would eventually give rise to our own species. Early primates were small, agile creatures, well-suited to life in the trees. Their grasping hands and feet, initially adapted for arboreal locomotion, would later prove crucial for tool manipulation in some primate lineages. The evolution of primates was shaped by a combination of factors, including environmental pressures, dietary adaptations, and social interactions. Over millions of years, different primate lineages diverged, leading to the incredible diversity of monkeys, apes, and hominins we see today. Section 9, the dawn of humanity from apes to Homo sapiens. The story of human evolution is a long and complex one, spanning millions of years. It is a story of adaptation, innovation and migration, ultimately leading to the emergence of our own species, Homo sapiens. Our earliest hominin ancestors, such as Ardipithecus and Australopithecus, walked upright but possessed relatively small brains. These early hominins inhabited the savannas of Africa, where bipedalism offered advantages in foraging and predator avoidance. Over time, brain size increased in the hominin lineage, leading to the evolution of the genus Homo. This period witnessed the development of tool use, fire control and complex social structures, marking significant milestones in human evolution. Section 10, the future of evolution, where are we heading, evolution is an ongoing process, a never-ending dance between life and its environment. As we look to the future, it's natural to wonder what does the future hold for evolution on Earth and for our own species. Predicting the future of evolution is a daunting task, as it is a complex and often unpredictable process. However, we can make some educated guesses based on current trends and our understanding of evolutionary principles. One thing is certain, evolution will continue to shape life on Earth. New challenges such as climate change and habitat loss will drive the evolution of new adaptations. Section 11, understanding our past shaping our future. The journey of evolution from single cells to complex life is a testament to the power of natural selection and the incredible diversity it can produce. By understanding our evolutionary past, we gain a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of all living things and our place within the grand tapestry of life. Evolution is not merely a scientific theory, it is a lens through which we can better understand ourselves and the world around us. It helps us appreciate the unity of life, recognizing that all living organisms, from the smallest bacteria to the largest whales, are connected through the intricate web of evolutionary history. As we face the challenges of the future, an understanding of evolution can guide our actions. It reminds us that change is inevitable and that adaptation is essential for survival. 